Well, hello guys. I'm going to endeavour to show you a different side to Singapore. A side that wouldn't normally come to mind. Some sights and some things to do here in Singapore that you probably haven't thought of. When you think of Singapore, you probably think about these sites. These are probably the images that come to mind when someone says Singapore. So come with me guys and let's go and explore another side of Singapore. Let's do it. Well, good morning guys. Another, maybe not quite what you would expect in Singapore moment. Um, I've come to Sentosa Island. This is where the beach resorts are here in Singapore. I've never been to this area before. I've specifically come to Palawan Beach. Uh, Palawan, the Philippines, a place I've always wanted to go. Beautiful area. So I'm expecting special things here. Let's have a look. All right, so first thing I noticed, the sand looks quite nice. It's definitely clean. It's also not crowded, which is also nice. A lot of cargo ships and the port just over there. So it looks like you can follow this beach walk for about 26 minutes it said on the sign to get to the cable car that goes up to Solosa Fort. So I might attempt to do that. Let's go up the uh, tower for views. All right, guys, so here's a map of uh, Sentosa Island, and um, I've come in here. At Palawan Beach it cost me uh, 15 Singapore dollars on a grab and he's dropped me here at the beach I've gone up on these uh, towers and I'm currently here we're gonna continue along this walk all the way until we get to the Soloso cable car and then I'm gonna take the cable car up the mountain I guess and have a look. So I've arrived here at Soloso Beach. Um, there's also a luge there. Looks a bit slow and tame though. Very slow and tame. Let's check out Soloso Beach. See if it's nicer than Palawan. like it might be hmm it's small but yeah it's definitely cleaner I don't see any plastic on the beach here well there's a thong but yeah no water bottles so I think the uh, resort here all the shops are cleaning it up some so that's great So boarding up this way. Luckily there's no one here, so I should get one of these to myself. This is Impia Lookout Station and this is where I have to transfer to go across the harbour. Oh, 
Okay, so it's just like a three minute walk from the last cable car to this one, connecting. All right, made it on my second cable car. This one's gonna take us across the harbor towards the city. Spectacular views. Whew, she's warm. Yeah, so we're leaving Sentosa Island now and heading back towards the city skyline, as you can see. Incredible views of the city and over the uh, channel here. Alright, coming into Mount Faber Peak, the highest peak in Singapore, I believe. So, views of the city skyline from Mount Faber Peak. Some restaurants and dining up here. It's not busy today at all, so that's been awesome. I haven't had to wait for any cable cars. So, like I said, my ticket does give me the option to go back. But um, I don't see any point in doing that. Then I'll just have to pay for another grab out. All right, it seems from Mount Harbour Station, if I do want to uh, get the MRT, the Metro, I have to go back to Harbour Front. And from there I can connect to Marina Bay Sands or elsewhere in the city. So it is back onto the cable car for me. If I can figure out where to get on, here we go. front station now um, yeah I, I definitely recommend you buy the two tickets for 35 Singapore dollars and your light here at Harbour Front because um, otherwise you've got to pay for a taxi from all the way over there in the distance at Sentosa Island and um, from here you can take the Metro so in effect you get at least half of the uh, cable car drive for free uh, Singapore's cable car started in 1974 and is one of the most advanced in the world. So to sum up, would I recommend doing the cable car? Definitely. Would I recommend you go over to Sentosa Island? Yes, why not? Um, it was nice over there. I mean, Soloso Beach was definitely better than Palawan Beach. So I would head up that way, which is also closer to the cable car. So if you head into Sentosa, ask to go to Solosa. And um, from there, there are a number of resorts, including the Shangri-La I saw. There's a Sofitel over there um, and some other more local brands. So it could be worth um, a weekend getaway, beach getaway here in Singapore if you wanted that kind of layover, something quite different. Otherwise, if you want to visit the city, you want to just have a look, definitely get the cable car. It's a nice way to get around and great views of the skyline. You can uh, finish your journey here at Harbour Front and take the MRT, which can get you down to Marina Bay Sands, the Merlion and the city centre proper. So that's what I'm going to do now. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this different look at Singapore and we'll catch you in the next one where girls on the loose. Thank you.